Hmm. A startling sense of deja vu. Flat and combo. what I get for using a low damage fast poke. That should be totally safe. Alright. And uh, that's a lethal hit too for some reason that I'm not entirely certain of. The other one. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for the throw. Yeah, I'm dead. You got me. Lethal hit and the ring out. Okay. Must be nice. 
must be nice. Um, that's supposed to be beaten out. Well, guess I'll just die then. Everything she can just get away with. Amazing that I can't punish any of those with lethal hits, but she can punish everything I do with lethal hits. Why? They decided that was okay. Yep, dead. Good bait. Of course, first thing in the morning, I got sane again. <laughs> oh, that was brave. I was brave to him to GI that. That was lame. Something. Oh, I went to bed pretty much like uh, after we had our set. I was mega, mega, mega tired, so there was almost a sense of relief when you got me. Sorry, you didn't go any further though. You did pretty good last night. You know, some days are like that. He'll just pretty nasty, though. I mean, it's not easy for me to fight, but still. I'm surprised you weren't doing the uh, 50%. That's like 3 damage for you in that matchup. I kept trying to play around that. Of course, because I was trying to play around that, everything else was hitting me. Not just an IV, the IV. I said I was surprised you weren't doing the tech trap against Astaroth that Hilda gets. Like, you were hitting me with a bunch of other stuff, but when the tech trap is done right, I lose literally half my life bar. You were taking about a third, so something wasn't right. The thing is, it's like not even really a tech trap against Asta. Um, it just it just lands. That's the problem. Like it's broken against uh, Asta and Zaz. We got Fat Man hitboxes. Ow! So we can't get away from it. He used a few, but the damage was lower. I'm not sure how that works. You were getting noticeably less damage than, like, when Omen does it. Is it like a timing thing, maybe? You wait into a certain, uh, point, maybe it resets the scaling. I'm not sure. I mean, it breaks it in a good way. Um, were you watching the set I had against Apple Boom? In the last NLBC? 
because he was getting the 50% very consistently on me. And I do mean it is, like, exactly 50% of my life bar. It's, it's absolutely wild. Ow. Jump out of it. Off the ground? Oh man. Saying it's messing me up again. Yeah, Omega. Ow! Oh my god, I couldn't even RE. That's yeah, over. Engulp me! Bring out, maybe. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm getting rocked over because it's super hard. Smack. I swear to god, everything in this matchup lethal hits. And here we go. Like, what are you supposed to do about that? Wild. Bunga my bunga. I don't think this is gonna end well for me. Nope. What you gonna do when she beats you on range, tracking, damage, and speed? What you gonna do? Yes, better. That's all you can do. I have to become the demon that guesses right on everything. Need to unlock that secret. Again. That'll be again. And there it is. I like how her throw does one line. Like how I can't react to that. Because I'm stuck in recovery. range they say. Interesting. That seemed pretty close. I'm so fat. I don't know why my bee tracked her there. That shouldn't have worked. Oh, come on! There we go. Let's do it. Ah, oh, that didn't work again. Not enough. That was buffered in, like, a year ago, before her move ever came out. And then it came out after I blocked the whole string. That is crazy long buffer. Wow. That man did not care at all what I had coming. Ooh. 
lost his meter. And that sucks. What am I supposed to do about this range? Like, I can't step it because it's horizontal, but I can't outspace it because it's longer range than my axe! It's not even unsafe. A minus 14, I can't do anything about. I pushed way too far out. I shall grant you aid this once. Oh, Jackie. You do some streaming this morning? It's Whoa, awkward. Wow, that was scary. Alright. And that's the break. Yeah. Double thanks. I think I need to use the long range throw more. Yeah, he was the first one I found. Not exactly a bad pick, so I'm doing it. Until he gets sick of me. They need to settle down on these lethals. I'm sorry. I'm never gonna not be upset about that. Yeah, my 3k isn't gonna reach that far out. And I lost. That will kill. There we go. That somehow hit me. Guard impact, what the heck? Oh, that, that was the auto GI from... Okay. I understand now. Everything lethals. That's the only 14 frame move I've got. It's not gonna reach. So there's nothing I can do about that move. It's effectively, like, invincible. I mean, shit. Auto GI and out of range of punishment. He can spam it as much as he likes. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, but my horizontals aren't fast enough. There we go. So, I mean, it's like... Yeah. I, I'm not gonna be able to bull rush in, or I'm not gonna be able to 6-6-B in. My fastest, like, horizontal would be, like, 6-A. That's at 18 frames. I'm trying to contest with it, but... You see how well that's working out. Um, my CE is 26 frames, I believe? Yeah. Not exactly fast. Ooh. Crunchy. Again, I can't punish that. Just gotta back off. Okay, I didn't get uh, lethal hit there. I hear this game likes giving Ivy lethal hits for no reason. Ooh. Not quite a kill, but close. Now am I gonna keep her out with a 20 frame poke? Probably not. Ooh, maybe. Maybe I get lucky. when you used to be able to duck that. It was good times. Come here. Ah. Alright. 
Oh, I shouldn't hit that button. I did not think that was going to be a thing. And that's unteckable. Please make that techable in the future. I know it'll never happen, but... What? 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 Why did I spin? It was like... Whoop. Has to can't punish it, yeah. That's why he's spamming it. He knows I can't do anything. It's the same thing with uh, a lot of moves that Gro can do. That's why that matchup is almost unwinnable. He's got transitions that are unsafe against every other character, but are for some reason safe against Asta. Because of similar situations like that. I mean, if you ask me, I think the solution is to remove the GI on 66B and just make 66B 14 frames. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Hawaii. Thank you. Welcome, guys. Ah, ah. Ow, please don't corrupt me. Corrupt? I don't know. French or something. Ah. Ow! Ow! Calm down, Sane. Uh, thanks? Now that's a punch. I guess I'm lucky that didn't, uh, he didn't do the lethal hit. Please don't tame me. That'll kill. You know, I always mix the two up. But the one where she, like, grabs you and holds you back turned and then you just get, you know, messed up, that's the untechable one. Can't do much about that, other than cry. Yep. And now I'm gonna die. After you. Yeah, that was guaranteed to happen, but I've got meter now. <sighs> Shit. I was locked into it. That sucks. Before she ever turned it on, I was axe flopping. So I thought he would run forward. Evidently not. Shit is far, man. It is far. I did get the jumping bug. That's true. I don't know why I'm forced to use, like, meme attacks like the Jumping Bonk, though. No other character has to rely on that kind of, like, 40-frame nonsense just to get out of a bad situation. I can't even run up and do a mix-up, because it takes time to run. My options against that are so bad. Found it. Yesterday I was hitting him with a lot of 6A, but he's crushing more today. And I'm picking up pennies too, yay. And that's the untechable one right there. God, I wish it wasn't. Yeah. 
4A. Still a sin. I can't outrun him, Shrimp. He can't outrun me either. We're glued together. It's destined to be. again. Oh my god, really? Why does everything have to be a lethal hit? This is madness. I swear to god, take away Ivy's lethal hits. Her player base falls apart. I got like one good lethal hit, and it doesn't work against every character. That's what I'm talking about, and you can see why too. Like, the issue with it is it's so slow that it misses on recovery most of the time. It's got to be during my opponent's recovery frames. It's like, you know, good luck getting that. The tail end of that move did as much as a just frame command throw for me. Probably more, when I think about it. I think I got him. Yep. Slam jam. 2-2-A. Nah. 2-2-A does no guard damage. It does no actual damage. The advantage is minor. It's true that it is, like, more consistent, but it's quicker. You have to understand, it's unsafe. And while, like, being, like, minus 12 or even minus 14 wouldn't be a big deal against some characters, it's a real problem with Ivy because Ivy's AA turns you sideways. So you can't respond afterwards with anything, correct? You're all disoriented and fucked up. So I don't want that to happen. AA punishes against Ivy are nasty. Ah, good crush. That's gonna hurt. And there it is, lethal hit. And ring out. Neat. Oh, I got saved somehow. There's that glitchy wall. Wouldn't it be nice if I could do something about this? Man. Where'd you go? Ooh, Slamma Jamu. Okay. Never in the flex. I'm gonna counter flex. that didn't hit me. I'm not playing over there. I don't like it. Nope. Not doing that. Untackable. Ah. Uh, that was not advantage. I don't know why that happened. Nothing came out. And it. I don't even have enough time to sidestep after that? When I'm plus 14? What the hell? Ah, 
I'll take that damage, though. Ow. Jesus Christ, dude. Actual madness. I'm dead. Ah. The rock, paper, scissors damage is upsetting. He doesn't even have to worry about frame data because it's like the more disadvantage he is, the more the higher his damage is going to be because of lethal hits. It shouldn't work that way. Disadvantage should be disadvantage, not, ooh, here's an opportunity to do more damage. Come on. Bonk. Again, I'm I'm relegated to using meme attacks. Uh, I couldn't do four six. That will suck. Take it. Nope. That's that auto crush. Battle but Ah, oh, I lost my meter. Come on. Obviously, not what we wanted. Ooh, lucky. But he's yellow now. Your desire for Rush him down with Rose. Okay, Jumping Bong seems to be okay against Ivy, when he stops moving, anyway. Ow. Damn, that didn't work out. Wow, armor is just not a thing here. RE is not working, armor is not working, nothing is working out. Ah, that didn't work either. For some reason, everything just kept getting shut down. Burn it. Um, again, armor. Not being useful. I don't understand why sometimes it just... The armor frames are out there, but it decides not to work. That's gonna hurt. Yeah. Well, we burned a lot of his meter, at least. We're in a good position for the last round, but not that good. And there it is. This is why throws are terrible. 
Unless you're Ivy, apparently. He's switching to it regularly. I've tried that several times. Shrimp. And dead. There it is. Yeah, let's just favor him more. One out of four chance. Is he just gonna like sit there rather than fight me again? Like what is up with that? Okay. I don't know what's going on with him. Maybe he's got something going on in real life. Uh, okay. That missed. Yeah. But Ivy doesn't, because Sirs are actually untackable. And are way harder to break. And have a much smaller window. And are much faster. And do more damage. In fact, Sirs are basically better in every single way, shape, and form, now that I think about it. Not to mention, she actually has mids that will discourage you from ducking. Astroth doesn't have those. See, he didn't carry eight all of that. He gave no fucks. Couldn't discourage him. stare at you. It will be awkward. Oh. Can't punish it because it's a crush. Got it. And yeah. Again, can't punish it. It really baffles me that it's impossible to step that there. Alright. Come on. Gonna burn it. Um, and again, I couldn't activate anything. <sighs> Why go for throws if this is gonna happen every time? I just wish there was a way to punish any of this, for how high damage it is. I do have my armor, but then they gave her an anti-armor lethal hit for some reason. Freebie is too slow. Um, it's also not offline real. Oh, 
We have tested it. And again, this year maybe it doesn't matter if it's offline real or not. Now that I think about it. Ah, not what I wanted. And that's gonna hurt like hell. I was breakable, but... Can't even sidestep. Broke it, okay. <laughs> Everything is a damn lethal with this girl. It's ridiculous. Notice nothing of mine is a lethal. How am I supposed to discourage any of this shit? Thanks, game. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. Why not? What is advantage, anyway? Wake up into God throw. I can throw too. May not be as fancy as yours, but I can do it. And dead. Well, almost dead. Why does he taunt? Like, I really don't get that about him. It's not encouraging me to do anything. It's just being obnoxious at this point. And I'm dead. Is that how he does it? I thought he was just being smarmy. I could probably see that as a buffer system, but... Nice tracking! Unbreakable? And I lost. Why wouldn't it be a lethal hit? Alright, everything else is. In that situation, I should be able to tech to the side, but I can't. Because I'm too fat. So she gets free damage on me. Unbreakable again. Nothing I can do about it. Unless I want to duck. Oh, no! I'll just keep eating unbreakable throws. Totally fair. Totally fair. So when do I get an unbreakable throw? Oh no, I, I get one from the armor that gets lethal hit because she has lethal hits on everything. Literally everything. You have meter, she gets lethal hits. She dodges a move, she gets a lethal hit. She ducks a move, she gets a lethal hit. She breaks armor, she gets a lethal hit. You looked in her general direction, she gets a lethal hit. Maybe they should tone down these whiff based lethal hits, because they're kind of stupid. They don't add to the game. They just make you feel like you're not allowed to use any of your options. And there's a difference between giving a character really good tools and just creating shit that denies your ability to do anything. That's not fun. Fight. 
I don't know, I think if I was Evaldo, I'd have options in this particular fight. I mean, my options here are just guess correctly, and that's it. I mean, I understand armor only absorbing one hit. I do get that. But, like... It's not good. So why punish it with a lethal hit? It already has massive downsides. He literally just woke up and did that. that. Heaven forbid I form an offense. You know, there used to be moves that you could duck under that Ivy had in mid-string, but then apparently somebody cried about that and maybe sped them up so that you could no longer duck them. I guess Ivy wasn't good enough. Good night. I'm backing away. Gotcha. <laughs> when people used to hack Inferno, that was fun times. Oh, you did it again! Same, what are you thinking, buddy? Oh, I'll, t I'll tank it, I don't care. I'll weather the storm, it's all good. I'm not gonna spend any of my precious meter. situation. And it. I don't think a basic poke should be punished with a lethal hit, ever. That doesn't make sense to me. Ivy isn't the problem. The problem is lethal hits. That's more than an Ivy issue. Yeah, that makes sense. Remember, this is the same character who has full circular attacks herself. That's another Ivy privilege. Having hitboxes that actually look how, you know, they are. That is an Ivy privilege. <sighs> See, if I was Ivy, that would have lethal hit right there. 
I mean, I've got a lethal hit that's supposed to turn on there, but it never does. Give me the same lethal hits that everybody else has, or remove them from the game, because they're stupid. Personally, I vote remove them from the game. People's kits are good enough without them. See, the thing about Zig's lethal hits is that you're at a third life bar, or you've built up stacks or whatever, and you've got Dark Legacy. At that point, your opponent can have 75% life and you can just completely reduce their health bar to nothing in two hits. So effectively, when you're killing Siegfried, you're actually killing yourself at the same time. And that's the problem. going so far. Wow, that missed. Ooh, that's gonna hurt you. Let's play some mind games. Didn't work. Ah, couldn't jump in time. Too fast. That's another move I don't understand why that exists. Like, my god. I'm dead. Knew it was coming, tried to GI it. One or two frames off. Feels bad, man. Oh, come on. Come on. That time he actually did it. Everything is such, like, super high damage with her. She might as well be a DOA character. that? We're done playing nice. We're gonna play sassy now. Oh, that wasn't great. Let's see. Let's, let's try uh, an early game gambit. That didn't work. Ow, ow. Wow, he timed that so that I would be in recovery. That's messed up. So he's actually buffering that after Christmas tree. Well, we got meter, but that was a wasted round. Shouldn't have gone for it. Yeah, this will give me more meter. Isn't it magical how he seems to always know what I'm gonna throw him? And the rest of the time he stares at me so I can't do anything. Woo! Here we go. He's got some pretty good foresight. Off the ground. Insta throw. 
how can you prepare for that? So what you're saying, Nightmare, is that it's got the same population as every game currently. dead. I can think of games that have a much lower population than this and still have active communities. Should just play what they like. If everybody quit worrying about what was popular and what they were supposed to be playing, you'd have more people playing games like this, and you'd have fewer people bandwagoning onto Street Fighter and Tekken. I guarantee 80% of the people who play Tekken, good game as it is, 80% of the people who play Tekken only play it because they feel like they're supposed to play it. Same thing with like Street Fighter. They're good games, sure, but that's not why everybody plays them. People are bandwagoners. Lethal hit. I got lethal hit because I farted. Alright. Tekken is a wonderful game. However, it is full of people who praise Tekken while not actually knowing how to play it. That is the best stereotype of Tekken players. Remember guys, that's not just an unblockable, it's also a crush. So you can use that move to crush under stuff and take half life on it. It's really realistically, ignore the unblockable part aspect of it, and just think of it like a half, a half life bar crush, because that's what it is. A cancelable half life bar crush, that makes it safer. That's pretty damn good. Um, KBD was never intended. It was a glitch. However, it defined the gameplay so much that they kept it in and actually expanded upon it over the years. The like, sidestep cancels in general were considered glitch. That never works. Ooh. 
Oh! Not enough to kill, though. Guess reasons, TM. When 6-6-A with Astroth actually lands. That is why we 6-B. Because that is possible. Guaranteed. Oof. Nice. Victory. Well, movement in 6 is more unsafe than it is in 2. I would, however, say it's blindingly fucking fast. Maybe make that unsafe, considering what it does. Jesus. Woo, got him. SC2 asked to <laughs> just PT and spin around the stage. Yo, he could PT so fast in that game. He just, like a top. He was great. Smash is a hard game to play. I mean, melee, specifically. Imagine doing everything on an analog stick. That just sounds terrible. Gotta love it. How do you mix 4-4-B? Um, you anticipate them teching, you cancel into a bear hug. And you have to do it at the right distance. If you do it in the right distance, it will track. If you're too close, it won't track. So far he hasn't teched, so I keep doing it. For slightly more damage. Um, if you notice him teching to the wrong side, you could do uh, 3B instead. Ah, uh, wow. See, I hadn't even finished my string, and I still got lethal hit. So you can't even call it a whip if you're still in the middle of the string. And yet! For the low, low price of your sanity, she gets access to that. Woo, here we go. That'll kill you. Damn. He really doesn't want to attack that. That has the potential to happen, too, if he's really stubborn. Blessings for those who have repeatedly escaped the clutches of death. People are probably yelling at him in the stream, Attack that Zane! For some reason, he's just not dealing with it. I don't know. Oh, 
it is. Ow. Take that. Yeah. Oh. She's faster. See, that's her version. Which you cannot roll away from. At least has to can't. It's too bad. As far as I know, if you can roll the other side, it just never worked for me. Tell that to Tira and Amy. And Mina. Stomp is not guaranteed, no. But a lot of people don't tech. I wanted to test him. Talking about after spin to win. Battle buff. Oh my god, here we go with this shit. Alright. Try to snake edge me straight off the arena? Yeah, you would do that, wouldn't you? You notice that every single time I've gone for low throw, he hasn't, like, flinched or done anything? What a back turn punish. I mean, what else are you gonna get? He could cancel and block anything else. Or he could actually have dashed forward with another one of the shoulders and avoided something like 4-4-B, so, you know, that was it. That's all I was gonna get, guaranteed. Yeah. I get you. Just do it. We'll teach him the hard way if we have to. Sane is kind of always on autopilot. It's just that he's got really good execution. So it, like, sort of works. Because... Ivy's busted. 
Wow, he did that. He just did that. Okay. I'm not dissing him. I'm just saying, that's his playstyle. We all autopilot on some things. I autopilot on DOA, like, hardcore. I stopped having an active thought process in that game, like, probably two or three years ago. Off the range on that, please. I know it doesn't look like it should have more, but it, it's got to have something over Balboa. Right now, it just kind of sucks. Being two frames safer is not enough. Got him. 